There's Art Robbins. He'll be outside of the first row on his brand new Honda 750 Interceptor. Steve Crevier from British Columbia. He rides one of the Yamaha Motor Canada entries. Tom Walther from Surrey, British Columbia. He'll be on a Honda Interceptor 750 as well. And the rider on the pole position, the Canadian Superbike champion, Michel Mercier. He'll be on the Team Suzuki machine. Paul McMillan, the 1984 Canadian champion. He's on the Rothmans Honda 750. And Tommy Douglas from Laval, Quebec, a rider to watch. He's got a top-notch engineering team putting his machine together. Forty riders stand ready for our first championship race on a dry track here at Mosport as starter Tommy Atkins gets ready to drop the flag. Mercier, number one, away quickly. Premier 73 is right there. The riders into turn one. It is Michel Mercier on the Suzuki grabbing the early lead. 47 Robbins getting by, going into the second place position. He made a nice move on Crevier number 73. They go side by side into turn two. Michel Mercier, number one, your leader. 47, Robbins in second. Good fellow already into that third place position. And Craig, he had to start right at the back. Oh, he can ride. When he's got his dander up, Pat, he's going to go to the front. You bet on that. Good fellow, of course, missed the qualifying race, forced the run at the back, and he has really charged up through the field. And there's the rest of the pack coming through, some of them being a little careful, Pat. Well, they're going to have to watch it through that turn. A lot of traffic through that very tight right-hand turn. There is your leader, Mercy, at the end of the straightaway. You can see he's got several riders trying to chase him down into the S's. Art Robbins, number 47, and Gary Goodfellow, number 99. They have actually moved ahead of the rest of the pack as they come on the front straightaway. Robbins really pushing it hard to stay with the two Suzuki riders. There's a good race further back. Steve Nelson, number 84, 24, Reuben McMurder. Well, McMurder is riding hurt today as he had a terrible fall on corner one earlier, and it was doubtful if they could repair either Reuben or his bike back. Mercier trying to hold off a hard charging Art Robbins, and Robbins has the lead coming down the chute in a moss corner. Beautiful pass by Art Robbins, and Craig, he is just riding this Honda to the limit as they move up the back straightaway. There's a rider going down. That is 101, Steve Dick, getting out from under the motorcycle. Dick appears to be okay, but his afternoon has ended early. Michelle Mercier, number one, back out in front. Art Robbins in second. Gary Goodfellow, number 99, right there in third place. Craig, this is an outstanding race involving these three riders. Oh boy, they're all hungry, Pat, and they're all going after those big bucks, and there's another pass going on. Robbins up on the outside. Oh, and he almost fell off the motorcycle. He had to put the left foot down to rebalance the machine. He was trying to go around Mercier up on the outside. Oh, the crowd loves this guy, and he's really showing his stuff today, and he's by again, Pat. Outstanding move by Art Robbins as he gets Mercier under the chute, going into the hairpin. It is Art Robbins, your leader, Mercier in second. Goodfellow still trying to chase both of them down. And Mercier at the end of the straightaway pulls the slingshot and goes by Art Robbins to retake the lead. They have been swapping this front running position back and forth all over the racetrack. Number one, Mercier, your leader, Robbins, 47 second. Gary Goodfellow right on Robbins' rear tire, running back into third place position. It's strictly a three rider race right now as Mercier will lead it through turn one and again. Robbins pulls up alongside of Mercier, but cannot get around. He'll try him once again through turn two, and Mercier will hold him off. These riders have got to have an awful lot of respect for each other, Craig, running this fast, this close together. Uh, these guys are pros, no doubt about it, Pat. And there's two guys that are having a race. Norm Murphy, 87 and 76, Duhamel battling for seven. But here is our lead battle back into the hairpin. And now it's Gary Goodfellow taking over that second place position. And there is Steve Dick. He's become a spectator. And Gary Goodfellow has become the leader. Michelle Mercier in second. Art Robbins runs back into third place spot. Fourth place rider is 73, Steve Crevier. And there's the standings, Pat. You know, it's quite an amazing feat what 99 Goodfellow has accomplished. He started last not too many laps ago, and he's fought his way up to first place. You're right, Craig, and you know that Gary came here today to Mosport from Road Atlanta in Georgia, where he was involved in a crash that had put him out of that race. And I had a chance to ask him about it earlier. In the second practice leg, everything was going fine. I was following uh, Schwartz and Rainey. Uh, and passed three, passed three riders into a, into a downhill turn, came around a right-hand turn, and, and a rider moved over on me, and I was doing about 40, 50 mile an hour faster, so I couldn't avoid them. Crashed and uh, really wrecked the bike, cosmetically wrecked the bike, and, and uh, 
wrecked myself a little bit too, as you can see, like my leathers are <laughs> not looking too good and my, my knee here has got water on the knee, but uh, I've been having the knee drained out in the last couple of days, so uh, hopefully it won't come up anymore, but if it does, I'll just have to have it drained out before the race. And we'll be back after this. Val Quebec, he's run into trouble. Steve Crevier, number 73, has been running in fourth place much of the race, trying to catch the lead pack, but to no avail. Michelle Mercier now all by himself in second. And Art Robbins, who switched from a Formula One machine in third. And I can only guess that it's going to take him a little while to get used to it. And I asked him about the differences. Well, it's two totally different machines. The power comes on different. The uh, under braking, you, you've got uh, rear wheel pressure from the engine on the four stroke, which you don't on the two stroke. And uh, it's two totally different bikes. And uh, like I say, I've been off of the four stroke for three, four years now. I learned on a four stroke. and I prefer to ride a four stroke. It's just trying to get rid of some of the habits that I picked up on the two stroke. Uh, you'll drive out of the corners a lot harder and you use your power all the way around the track where on the, the two-stroke is uh, awfully fast on the straight. There's number 24, Reuben McMurder, who is retiring from the race. He crashed this morning. He was running out of the points and decided to park it for the afternoon. Gary Goodfellow, your leader, number 99, is on his way. He has had an outstanding ride here this afternoon at Mosport. Steve Crevier and then the battle for fifth between 991, Tom Walther, number nine, Paul McMillan. There is Art Robbins all by himself in third. Aboard that Rothman's Honda machine, you can see Robbins is still pressing very, very hard. The battle for fifth moves out of the hairpin. Walther, 991, had some problems. There under acceleration, McMillan going by in a fifth. There is your leader, Gary Goodfellow, number 99, well ahead of the second place rider, Mercier, as he has lapped several riders, checkered flag, and the victory for Gary Goodfellow. Crevier, number 73, has been caught by Paul McMillan, number nine, coming up to the checkered flag. Crevier will hold on for fourth. McMillan, number nine, will finish in fifth. There's the 